Hi, welcome to another Oxmods. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to transform my present ox, as it looks like this, into this. Yep, I've treated myself to the new ox CNC plates kit from Ooze Nest. But the first thing I'm going to have to do is tear this one down. So many hours have gone into this machine. It's a bit disheartening really when you're taking it apart. You know you've got all the electrics working correctly on it and boom, get rid of them for a starters. And then that bed took me a long time to level it. But a <laughs> bit late now, isn't it? Oh, snip some more wires. Pull that apart. Hmm. Not much left now. And get this one gone. Oh, gone. Now I would play you some music in the background while this is going. But on the last last video, I got a message from YouTube that it had been banned in a few countries because of one of the music things that were playing in the background. And it was... Um, let me think, what was it? Uh, one Direction. A record from One Direction. There was about 10 seconds of it. And it got the video banned in a few countries. Well, there we are. That's all we've got left of the ox. Just a pile of pieces. Now I just start a build all over again. Ah, an unboxing video. You can't beat a good unboxing video. Right, there we are, it's unboxed. I was expecting a straightforward jiffy bag with some plates in. Instead, everything in this box was individually wrapped, like these few pieces I've left, just to show you. This is one of the end plates, I think, I believe. Everything in this box just laid out. Absolutely beautiful, it was. Quality, absolutely lovely compared to compared to my old plates the, the weight of them is is the same lining them up yep I've got loads of holes that are in different places couldn't understand and we got a nice big hole here and then on my old plate it, it's a small hole so that means the sense spacer wasn't working at all hmm so I must have had a diagonal wheel somewhere on the machine. Hidden under the bottom, so you've got the main Y plates. Lovely they are. I, I'm really glad I bought this. Again, compared to my old plates, some of the holes are in different places. So I'm hoping that the Ooze Nest plates are in the right places and not the wrong places. But We'll soon find out. Look at the quality in that. From <laughs> cutting from one side to the other. But at the time, the, these were imported from America. There was nowhere in the UK I could find for them. Oh, that's the Ooze Nest kit. Let's get the bloody thing put together. There's a couple of differences you need to be aware of on your Y plates. You're using M5 B40 bolts on these. They start off with your washers at the top and the centrics at the bottom. And then we have some precision shims on top of those. And how easy they are to get on too not why is it some just drop down and others don't want to go oh there's one Oh, 
and then we'll put, oh my god, I didn't spot that. I've gone and put two precision shims and I've finished building the whole of that Y carriage. Oh well, I'll take them out, but I'll have to leave them in the video for now. Let's continue with the wheels on the top. And then we'll put three more wheels on the bottom. We'll follow this again with some precision shims over the top of each wheel. That's if we can get the bottom wheels finished. Just one precision shim on each one of these. And again we'll follow these with some spacers on the top row and some eccentrics on the bottom. To make it easy to line the these side plate up on these. If you line all your eccentrics so they're facing the same way, it will line up with the holes on this plate you're going to put on. Just drop it on place and that's it. Then we'll finish it off by putting some M5 Nylux on the top. And of course I've gone for some nice black ones here. There's something to tell you I like black. And for the bottom row I've gone for the straightforward M5 nylocks because they're going to be underneath the bed. So you won't be able to see them see the point of wasting free in a place where you can't see. There we are, just need to tighten them up now. Tighten the top ones pretty tight and the bottom ones you can tighten them up but just leave them enough so you can turn your centrics. Now our Z carriage is basically the same as before, apart from the two extra wheels on the top. So we'll start off with some spaces on the left hand side and we'll put some eccentric spaces on the right hand side. And remembering to face the notches on the outside, which will give us our maximum width for the wheels to slide our Z rail into. Now on the top two wheels we're going to add another two spaces here. This will bring it up to the same level as the rest of them. And then obviously had had we'll add some shims to the top of them before the wheels. Um, we'll balance a couple on the top there just for the sheer fun of it. Looks like plate spinning. And we'll add the wheels, eight in total. Oh, by the way, that um, country that banned the video was Germany. <laughs> they obviously don't like One Direction. And we'll finish the, the this carriage off with an M5 nylock, just to hold the wheels in. Nice little hint for you here, the X carriage is pretty damn easy to assemble if you lay it on its back on top of a couple of boxes. There you go, there's a small shot on the side, so it does make it just that little bit easier. 
Right, so we're going to start off on the bottom row with some eccentrics and we'll face them pointing you know, towards you if you've got it the same way as I've got it. And then we'll put some precision chins, a wheel on each one. Another precision shim on each one. A spacer, each one. Another precision shim. My apologies for not seeing the one at the back there, but it is the same as the one you can see in the front. This is where it's got two precision shims, that's not a mistake, that, that needs to be there. And we pop, pop on another wheel, another precision shim. A spacer. And then the top row is spacers, the precision shim. Then a wheel on each one. Another precision shim. Hit it with an hammer. That's it, that's that one. We'll have another spacer. Then we'll have, this is where we have our double precision shim precision shim and then a spacer whoops made a mistake at the bottom they're not spacers there they should be eccentrics on the bottom there glad, glad I spotted that one before I put it on the machine there's a bit of another one taken apart. Again, face them downwards before trying to put your plate on top so it's nicely lined up. Got the back of your X carriage on. Then again, we'll put some M5 Nylocks on gone for chrome again on the back because you can't see them cheapskate <laughs> not do that I'm running out of the black ones and I need them for the sides well there we are we have it all built now the rest of it was just as per instructions and I I haven't got the belt connectors out yet but I, I can feel the difference it's so much smoother anyway let's go and make the bed Right, let's do a bit of good old fashioned CNC work on this bit of wood. Right, um, where's the cycle start button? Oh, here it is. Oh, that's just a nice here. enough of that noise right I've routed out the sides to allow for the box plates to run up and down in and routed them a bit bigger so I can put a couple more channels down there the good thing I like about this board is it it's exactly the right size for this bed so so long as I clip clip the framework itself around the bed I know it's absolute square bit tight but 
once it's in it, it's in. Get it, that's it, it's in. Right, lovely, they're all laid down flat everywhere. And we'll tighten that up, making sure they're nice 90 degrees from the bed to the Y carriage. Another thing about these clamps on the side, once they're tightened up, they clamp onto the board so it holds it tight. I couldn't use the used nest ones, I'm going to have to make a few modifications because they're, they're too big, they're too high, I'd have to put another piece of board underneath that then I'll lose my height. Okay, let's get some of these channels put back in and I promise I won't play that bit of music here. Well, we've got um, six channels all together, I've still got two of them left, I ordered eight all together. Crikey, they would have been a bit crammed on the board, wouldn't they? The board would have been weak. But still. Getting a bit of a pace on now. Thank you. Must be in a rush to get this up and running again. Well, that's them all finished. Must just have another play with that. Yep, it's still smooth, it's still smooth. Anyway, pack that in. When I routed out the table, the first version of it, there was so much dust that cluttered inside these channels at the top. I decided I'd get some channel covers for those as well. And after installing these, well, I thought it looked pretty good. So I think I'll just have to order some more for down the sides of the Y carriage. Just to stop some of that rubbish going in there. That's it, lovely, all finished. I've just got uh, a fair bit of wiring to redo now. Well, my honest opinion of these plates, absolutely fantastic. Really, really worth their money. So glad I bought them. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna be fitting some proximity sensors on the machine which I didn't want to fit before until I'd got these plates fitted. Until next time, thank you very much for watching the video.